Hey folks, Dave here with another review. Up today is the Titans Returns um, Autobot Top Spin with the uh, Headmaster Freeze Out. Okay, here he is. Some kind of hovercraft. Right. Uh, looks good. Here's his weapons. They actually painted these silver. It's really nice. And when they combine, they create a pulse that you can use as a handheld weapon area. So you can put them handheld uh, post okay there you go I mean looks good separated they look like this really nice really cool and of course they pig here all right um here's the pilot area or the headmaster area so one thing that I found kind of odd about this figure is that you have to lay his pilot flat on the area there it does have a little post a little slot where the back of the the headmaster legs are supposed to fit or can fit which will sit him down like so but once he's set uh, in the sitting position the little cockpit doesn't close anymore so it's kind of I don't know they should have put it down here somewhere so that you know because right as it is he's kind of just loose in there right. and now he won't open there we go he does have other areas to sit in I mean he can sit there and he can sit there and if you like using these little post things you can stand them up on the wing like so um, I've seen some people put this up as a seat put up his foot as a seat but it's kind of weird position because it kind of forces the figure to be sat sitting down in a, a hinged over type look so yeah, there you go does hold well. All right. Pull off the weapons. I'm gonna put them back in combined mode because I actually enjoy the combined mode weapon more than I do the. I mean that just looks awesome. That just looks like a weapon from Death for that four blasters shooting you you at the same time. Um, <clears throat> vehicle mode does have. Okay. A landing wheel but no back wheels so it doesn't roll here's the bottom you can tell there's his chest All right looks good I really like the way this thing looks All right, let's close that off um, let me show you off the headmaster nothing special Hasbro just went lazy with the paint applications. The head looks really nice. I really like the head on this figure. Transformation. Simple. Um, articulation on the head. Hands. Arms are on ball joints. But because the, the head. They're kind of. You know hindered. So you can't really. like You can force them to raise up. But. And I don't think I would trust that joint there very much to do that. All right, there's the head. And on this one, you got to spin the head forward because that's the way it goes into robot mode. All right, let's transform this, shall we? First off, I got to say, I really like how Hasbro handled, handled their transformation on this guy. Some of the paint scraped off the leg already. I can't see. Hmm. Right there, there's some paint scrapes. I guess it's rubbing against the plastic of the upper leg. Transformation is really cool. All right. Um, first off, let's do the legs. Okay. This post right here tabs into these slots, so you just pull the legs back this up come his knee joints 
but I want to open. Okay, separate the legs. Yeah, I heard that too, but they, they put this uh, tab here with the, like a little lip and you got, there's no way you can like put them in at the same time because you just got to force them in and it kind of makes it scary. Uh, legs were like that, okay, kind of like sandwiched in, pull them out and you pull out the leg and close the, the lip same thing here okay, according the leg out All right push the leg forward then close it off that's his legs look good Got to turn these got this thing around. There's his leg. Right. Now, <clears throat> the front piece. You got to undo the arms. You know, take them out. Right. Take the other one out. Then this opens up, and the front wing section. You go out. Now the instructions say you're just supposed to be able to go like this, but they don't. You actually have to sit this cockpit down a little bit before doing that because it gets stuck in between these two little. Uh, I wouldn't know what to call these. Yeah, they get stuck there, so you have to do that. You know, again, kind of like get it ready, put it down, and then bring it down up on top of itself. And there, there you go. All right. You get the body from here, here's his chest, and you spin it to there. It looks good. These two tabs, that these two tab into these two slots will now hold the body together by locking into place there. And they do have little like uh, sl uh, slots right here in this area there for them to lock into. And there's one on each side. And there you go. Looks good. All right. There's the wings. I mean, that was kind of a silly thing to add because you're not going to have your wings forward like that, but so forth. Now, these hands, these arms work in a great way. And I'm glad Hasbro is finally doing this. They're hiding the hands and they're putting this, these little uh, covers to cover them up. I mean, you open one up. And there's the hand and there's the arm, the upper arm piece. Then the accordion out. I mean that that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Whoever taught taught about thought about this, they did a great job. Now you open them up and there you go. And to cover up this emptiness, here you go. This is what the that DX9 uh, Mirage figure was missing. One of these things. It, it would have made I mean a whole bunch of difference. On that figure okay open it up pull out the arm there you go okay grab the head and like I said the front the front of the head will go to the front because uh, the back of the head is the larger piece so there it is okay and you stick the weapon in his hand and he's good to go there's top spin in all his glory he looks good we really have to say he looks good um the arms are in large ball joint so they do spin it does have another joint up here so that it can go up okay um upper elbows Swivel, yeah. Upper arm swivel. Elbows are in a double joint, but they look kind of funny when you use that double joint. So I would just recommend just using that one joint. I don't know. Looks good. Hands do not swivel. There is that 
crotch area swivel. I really wish they would just cover up these holes somehow. That just takes away uh, from the aspect of the figure. Okay. Here's his knees. And uh, he bends like this. Alright, he can spin. And he can do the, you know, <clears throat> looks good. Legs do move, but once you, the feet do move, but once you move them, they kind of break up the mold. So, looks good, stands well. There you go. Looks good. Here he is next to Will Jack. So he's a slightly taller figure. Which is good. Feels good finding, getting a good chunky, hefty figure. Feels good. Wings, you know, that, that's kind of a dumb thing to do. They should have just left them alone. It's, I uh, guess you can do that. I don't know. But it looks good. It works. It's worth the money. Um, if you can find them in retail for the 15 bucks, he's really worth the money. But unfortunately, these guys are, are coming out very uh, sporadically. Okay, some Walmarts have them, some don't. Targets get them, but then they're sold out. I mean, they're just... I don't know. Uh, Walmart is really dropping the ball. I haven't seen these figures at, at any Walmart in my area. Or in, in San Antonio, which is the big city right next to me. Um, I was I had to buy this guy off Amazon. Uh, and uh, it, I, I, I'm got to say, I'm, I'm still happy with it. Still happy with it. I, I really like this figure. Uh, I could recommend him all day. I really hope that they make a, a Twin Twist just as good. Because Top Spin is, is awesome. Top Spin is awesome. They did this record some good. Some uh, they did him well. They did him well. They, you know, looks good. Uh, maybe I the repro labels for him at a later point. Uh, I have to get together a list of repro labels I got or purchase at the same time. Uh, take advantage of that three dollar all inclusive uh, chipping price. But I really have to say I really like this guy. He looks really good. Um, I wish Hasbro would do a little bit more paint applications on the heads, but. That's, you know, beggars can be choosers, I guess. But that's about it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I'll go ahead and answer them. Uh, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a good afternoon, weekend, evening. And uh, God bless. Bye, folks.